Center for Action and Contemplation presents a homily by Father Richard Rohr. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel is written to us by Matthew. Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, Give me your opinion on this. A man had two sons. He came to the first, and he said, Son, go out and work in the vineyard today. The boy said in reply, I won't. But afterwards, he actually changed his mind and went. The man came to the other son and gave him the same order. And he said in reply, Yes, sir, but he didn't go. Now, which of the two did his father's will? They answered, the first. And so Jesus said to them, And I say to you, tax collectors and prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God before you. When John came to you in the ways of justice, you did not believe him, but tax collectors and prostitutes did. Yet even when you saw them change, you did not change your minds and believe. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, the pattern we see illustrated in this Gospel today reveals uh, one that's still true today. Nothing really ever changes. I'm aware of a priest in another diocese who uh, this week got a letter of anger from his bishop because he invited everybody to communion, saying we all need this healing. And in that same diocese, other priests can be rude and angry and judgmental to people. They never get a letter from the bishop because they're believing the right things. All you need to do is believe the right things. Doesn't matter how you really act. I'm not aware in the history of the church that anybody was ever accused as a heretic or burned at the stake because they didn't take care of the poor. Yet Jesus is very clear about that. I'm not aware that anybody was ever punished because they didn't take care of the widows and the orphans. Jesus was very clear about that. But the things we emphasize are all in the head. Do you believe the right ideas? And do you belong to the right group? And this is what our religious wars have been over. Are you Lutheran? Are you Mennonite? Are you Catholic? Are you Episcopalian? I doubt if God really cares. <laughs> he must get bored. Because in every one of those churches, there's people who know how to love, and there's a lot of people who don't. And Jesus is making this very clear in this gospel. You can say all the right words, but if you don't do it, it doesn't mean anything. And notice the first line, he's addressing this to the chief priests and the elders of the people because they seem to be the one missing the point. And then he goes, and if I said this to you, you'd probably write to the bishop about me. He says the crooks and the whores understand what I'm talking about more than you do. That's what he just said. <laughs> now, you wouldn't like me if I'd say that to you, would you? <laughs> I don't think so. But that's what Jesus just said. The crooks and the whores get it more than you church people do. Because too often church people just believe the right ideas, supposedly. But in fact, their behavior, they can be just as racist, as homophobic, as hateful, as class conscious, as materialistic as anybody else. But they believe the creeds of the church. After I end in a moment, we're all going to stand and you're going to recite the creed. And I am a good Catholic. I believe the creed. But it only struck me very recently 
Now don't say it with less fervor this time, but you're going to recite that whole creed, and I want you to notice the word love isn't in it once. It's all about believing ideas. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and I hope you do. But there's no mention of what we really have to believe in, that God is love, and that that love transfers to us, and that we have to love. And if the transfer hasn't taken place, there's been no conversion. It doesn't make any difference what you believe unless you become like the God you worship. And the way we can tell you really worship God is that God rubs off on you and you become loving too. So if in the course of this whole week, you never go out of your comfort zone to someone outside your group, your class, your religion, your family, I doubt if you know how to love. Let's just be honest. And I got to say the same thing to me too. If I just stay in my little safe circle of people who are just like me, you can go to church all you want and it really doesn't mean anything. That's what Jesus is saying in today's hard-hitting gospel. Are you going to be the first son who says he doesn't believe it, but in fact does it? <laughs> and he says, that's the one who did the right thing. He's not interested in words. It seems God, Jesus, is interested in action, behavior. That's what finally matters. And I'm sure you wouldn't have come here today unless you're people who want to act differently in the world. But in this time of so much hatred, so much war, so much killing, so much torture, so much malice, if you don't, if I don't, insert this love into this world, frankly, what hope is there? Nothing's going to change because people believe a few things. This homily by Father Richard Rohr is copyright by the Center for Action and Contemplation. Visit cec.org for other educational resources and programs.